talking about how to buy a home with the tax credit while it lasts, and it's going fast. Time's running out. That's why we asked Hale Walker to come with us. He is the CEO. Changes to it, but you're absolutely right. We do have to move quickly. And what's happening right now is it has expanded for not just the first time home buyer, but existing homeowners also. All right, let's let's break that up so everybody can see it and put it on the screen for you for first time home buyers and also for everybody else. First of all, that eight thousand dollar a tax credit up to eight thousand dollar for first time home buyers expires soon, April thirtieth. Exactly, and it is 10% of the home purchase up to the $8,000. There are income limitations for both the first time home buyer and for the existing. That's $125,000 for individuals. And then for a couple filing jointly, it's $225,000. All right, now that's for the first time home buyer, brand new home buyers. However, for people who have lived in a home for a while, they might be able to cash in on up to $6,500. Let's take a look on that. Uh, for example, if you've lived in your home for five consecutive years out of the past eight. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you'll qualify for the same, up to 10% to a maximum of, of the $6,500. The same income limitations of $125,000 for an individual, $225,000 for a couple filing jointly. And both for the first time home buyer and for the existing home buyer, the maximum purchase price is that $800,000 price. All right, now people sitting at home watching us right now thinking, wow, I haven't even begun to look for a home yet, and I'd really like to take advantage of that. They only have until the end of the month. They're gonna have to move so fast, it's almost, I mean, like, get up as soon as we're done with this program at 10 o'clock today and go out and find a home. That's true, they've gotta find the home, they have to execute the purchase agreement, but they don't have to close the loan until the end of June. As long uh -huh. as they close before uh -huh. July 1st, they're in good shape. Okay. So we do have some time. So that's the good time. All right, how hard is it to get a mortgage these days? I keep hearing stories from people who say, wow, I, I didn't qualify. I thought I'd qualify for a home, but I didn't. There is some misinformation out there. Compared to what was going on in the industry through the meltdown of the mortgage market, I would say that yes, it's a very different market, but it is not difficult. If we have a qualified borrower, that has those most important three C's to lending, and that is the credit. If they can show that they have the willingness to make their payments, both existing in this new house, and if they have the capacity, they've got a job, they've got the income that supports the debt that they have, and then the collateral. If we can get an appraised value that shows that the lender isn't lending more money than what the home is worth, then I want to tell you that people are not going to have difficulty at all in getting money. There's plenty of mortgage money out there. All right, and there are plenty of homes out there, too. I ran into a woman this weekend uh, at the Michigan Money Summit that was held in Novi, and she said she put a, uh, an offer in on a home that was a short sale. She wanted to buy it. November 1st, the paperwork hasn't come yet. She thinks she's going to lose that tax credit and be unable to buy the home. It, it, there's a, a bottleneck there in the system, isn't there? I, I really wish that I had great news for situations like that, but, but it's not the case. It, the, the large servicers that people are making their payment to, the very large banks, are so overwhelmed with both foreclosures and short sales that it is taking a long period of time, and it could be very well that somebody's not going to take advantage of the tax credit. All right, but to get the information that we've discussed here today and some other information and a link to his website, you can go to myfoxdetroit.com right now. We have it all for you. Hale Walker, First Preferred Mortgage Company. Thank you for being with us today and explaining some of these complex things that we just don't understand. And we hear so much about it and so much of the information that we hear is really inaccurate too. Thanks so, for having me. Thank you. And I'll see you tonight. Fox 2 News beginning at 5 as always with Money Works and the Job Shop because we're always working for you.